For the grapes, I had a drawing with all these circles and the stem on it. And I started by cutting the farthest back pockets first, filling them in, flushing them up, and then doing the ones that were on top. The circles were cut as a pocket, and then the inlay was cut um, with the same circle, but a uh, 5 thousandths tolerance, which they fit just perfectly in there. They just slipped right in. And what I did was I cut the individual circles on a long strip just in a row, uh, a little deeper than an eighth of an inch, turned it on its side and ran it through the bandsaw and just popped off all the circles and they fit in there just perfectly. So that worked out really well. And let me talk about what I learned with the uh, lettering and I'll show you on the shaper what I came up with. So here's something I learned um, as I was doing lettering. This is not the exact lettering I used on the barrel top, but uh, this is just something I learned uh, doing lettering. So I took a font right out of like, you know, how you choose a font in a, in a word package or something like that, and turned it into a path. So it, it takes the, the font itself, the letter, and then turns it into a set of shapes. And when you color code it, the shaper says, okay, um, this is going to be an inside cut. And you can see that the cutter is able to make the entire path. Um, so I'm able to do an inside cut. And then after that, I'm able to do a pocketing cut, which carves out anything that the, the inside cut didn't get. Uh, this is a different letter than I used on the barrel top, but it's the same concept. Those are, those are fairly straight letters. The issue I had was that when I first started out, I had lettering that looked like this. And as you can see, the narrow places in here do not allow the bit to get through. This is a one and a half millimeter bit. And it's, the letter's about an inch and a half. The capital letters are about an inch and a half tall. So one and a half millimeters, inch and a half tall, and then these thin areas, you can see that the, the bit just can't get there. And then if I come over here, you see there's another section here. So you'd end up with portions of the letter undone. Um, and not a big deal. It's just something I learned and something I thought I'd pass on. Uh, again, if you're making big letters for like a sign for outside, this probably isn't an issue. Um, I don't know if you can get smaller bits, but maybe a smaller bit would work. But it's... Um, yeah, you know, just something to learn.